Hi, so I'm going to show you how to remove your code from your bay, and I'm explaining why I do it. So on my videos, I've get, I get asked why or how to remove the code, and I'm explaining why I do it. I want my vase to look a lot nicer than the original Hasbro, because if you look at this, it just looks... It doesn't look good. I don't know really another way to describe it. It just looks like they just put that in there and it makes it look bad. Now this looks so nice. When you even put the driver on there, you can see the driver color, or maybe even tell what driver it is. And it's the same for the Takara Tomy version. So to take it off, someone asked what screwdriver it is. So I use a flat head like this. Um, it's pretty small, and for size, comparing to a one tooth on a Hasbro winder, it's about the same diameter or width. This one's a little bit bigger but I'm sure it might work if you won't do it at an angle. And these screws do have different sizes, so this size screw is bigger than the one on wide room, so the fastening screw is bigger. Taking out the codes for switch strike bays, I just use a screwdriver and sort of pry it open and I'll demonstrate it. I'll show that now. So I have the code here, and I'm going to go on here and just push it. That one didn't turn out so bad. Okay, there it goes. And I should be able to take it out. I'll clean up that later, but um, that's basically how I do it for the switch track base. It looks a lot nicer when you have the parts on or a camera on it because you can see the code in a clear plastic. It does not look very good. This one it doesn't matter because you can't see it anyway. I have two O-rings here, and I'm going to take out the screws on this one. So i got the screws are right here, and I'm just going to put my screwdriver in here, so it's going to line up right there. You can use a trying one if you have one, but I cannot afford, or I don't think it's worth it, buying one when this does it fine. So I have taken it apart now. There is the code. I've already taken out the sticker, so all you need to do is just use a screwdriver and push it out. And that's basically it. So now I can put it back together. Yeah, this one snaps on, and if you look at the layer, it looks like the Teratomi version. It looks a lot better. Well, this one has it in there. You can see the blue just makes it look bad. There. So now I can see the whole base put together, and you can see the color of the driver using now. So some might not like it, and I can see why. But in my opinion, it makes it look more like the Keratomi version, which is exactly what I want. Now, days you shouldn't take the codes off, or shouldn't try to, is first is Neptune single layer. It may just be mine, or may have done something wrong, but when I did put it together, there was a little bit of a problem with the screws. Um, you can see that one is stripped a little bit there, but I had a hard time putting it together I think I did strip it, but the other one I had a fine time, so maybe it was just me. And the other bay is L2. So if you look at it, you can see this is permanent. The dragon heads are put in there permanently, so that restricts you from taking apart the layer. So how I did it is when you unscrew the bay, you're going to stick a screwdriver in here, to pry it open, and then you get another screwdriver and push it out. So that's how I did it. Maybe there's another way, but... I didn't want to risk taking off the dragon heads and not be able to put them back on. So hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions on how to do it, you can comment and I will try to help you out.